Hey guys, Gator, coach of the Florida Gators for the week nine match of the WBE against Joe Schmodor and the Seattle Sea Kings. Don't know why I just said Joe Schmodor. Uh, I feel like if you say Joe, you gotta say you gotta say Schmo. Like I feel like they go hand in hand. Anyway, this team builder is being recorded after the fact. The battle already happened because uh, I just forgot. The honest, I just forgot. Like the day before the battle, I went to Disney and. I decided it was a good idea to walk around in the scorching heat for like eight to ten hours, even though I never leave my room. So an hour into the day, just waiting in line, my feet and legs already started hurting. <laughs> Somehow I put up with that for like seven-ish, eight, I don't remember, whatever, for like the rest of the day. Uh, didn't make it through the whole day, had to, had to leave early, didn't get to see the fireworks. I was just like, hey, my, my legs are killing me I, and I'm an idiot and I'm not drinking water. I think I drank like two balls of water, if that. I didn't even drink two. I drink one ball of water and a cup of oolong tea for the day. Why? Why? Don't do that. Stay stay hydrated. And then, and then I came home and I could barely sleep through the night because my legs are in such aching and throbbing pain. Life lessons from this gator. Stay hydrated, stay active. Do, do not be a shut-in like me. Because this is what's going to happen to you. You're going to be a dead poker tuber with chicken legs. Nobody likes that. Anyway, so team builders, team builders happening after the fact. Also, in the game, it did disconnect. So we played the rest on Showdown just because of time constraints. So it's going to be like half Wi-Fi, half Showdown, but like all live commentary, but still like half, half. I haven't edited it yet because I'm recording with Team Builder, but whatever. Team Builder, his team will appear over here. I always say his team will appear over here when it's so obvious the team is here. But I feel like it's just a good segue to start talking about the teams. Uh, whatever. I'm going to keep saying it. I'm probably going to keep saying it. Um, I got a frost last. So, uh, Joder's team is interesting because unlike most of the other teams that are more like, I think, I, would, I guess I would say balanced. There's like very obvious like separation between his offensive Pokemon and his defensive Pokemon. Um... Like he has a couple things that can go like both ways, but mainly you see Infernape off. I guess no, I take that back because Infernape defensively is actually a real thing. Like Willow's slack off is actually a real a real thing. Like Haxorus, you know, is pretty offensive, and you you can see like he has some very defensive stuff like Alamomola, Umbreon, uh, like you know, the Slurpuff can be both ways too. I guess Avalog is it usually does one thing, but I, I guess it could be offense. I mean, it has a decent attack set, but you get my point. Like, it looks like he has ha a half a stall team going on, and then half of just a hyper offensive team going on. You get, you get my point. Kind of. Maybe not. But I have this Frost last, because spikes are good against a lot of his fat, um, and even his offenses. Like, most of his stuff is grounded, and I feel like Frost last can definitely take advantage of some of the more passive stuff. Uh, well, I already know what happened in the game, but y'all don't know. So I'm trying to, like, you know, say it as if I haven't played the game yet, just so you can know my thought process when I was putting this random shit together. Most of my stuff you can see is kind of standard though, but yeah. Uh, Spike's pretty good, burning is pretty good if I can catch like Bisharp or uh, Mega Venusaur with a burn. Pretty good. Um, yeah, and then Pain Split, because I can potentially use that to set up on some of the more passive things, uh, set up more spikes, and then yeah, yeah Hex, because yeah. Uh, Mega Heracross, Swords and Substitute, two attacks. It's standard. It's pretty standard. Uh, it just does damage. Like, I, I definitely feel like I have the matchup this week just because he does have a lot of fat ish stuff. And I do have a lot of fat ish killers that are just like, they naturally do that. Like, they can do other stuff, but like, they just naturally, like, Mega Heracross, Tran, Keldeo can just naturally just break through fat. Um, it's pretty good. And then even his offensive stuff, like, his team is relatively slow. They do have a lot of them that just outpace him. Like, my Frostlass, my Zorora, and my Archeops outpace everything not Scarf. His fastest mod is Infernate, and Keldeo speed ties with that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah, this is Fat Breaker number one. Uh, fat Breaker, quote, Fat Breaker number. It, does, it only has Lava Plume, but, like, it has Taunt and Toxic, which is already good against fast stuff anyway. Uh, and it's a good, it's a reliable Stealth Rocker against his team, so why not? And Lava Plume. I was thinking of going like Magma Storm, but I don't think I need to actually do that. So, yeah. Uh, this also has Taunt, Taunt Calm Mind, two attacks. 
I'm pretty sure this is like standard super. This is like, isn't this the straight? I'm pretty sure this is a straight off Smogon. Isn't this the Smogon set if you type Smogon.com slash Keldeo? Or is it subbed? No, oh, it's Taunt. Yep, Taunt. Combine Skull, Secret Sword Taunt. Max. I, I, I must have copy. I think I copy pasted this off the Smogon page because literally in the, the moves are in the same spot. And the four is in the Spadef. This might be just copy pasted straight off Smogon. So, <laughs> fuck. Um. Like it, it doesn't deal well with Mega Venusaur, but I can just burn it because I'm supposed to be a good player, right? So who who cares? And I do feel like Mega Venusaur might get caught off guard by this. Uh Plasma Fist, close combat, bulk up, bounce, fly Z. Um so Mega Venusaur, like it has to check a couple things against my team, so I don't I don't know. Maybe like if it dies for, to this, then Keldeo is freed up more. I mean I know what happened in the game, but I'm just saying like, you know, my thought process was like and I didn't have, uh, to be honest, I didn't have anything else on my team that wanted to use the Z. Like, all these are good with leftovers. And this is a Mega Heracross. And my Archeops is only for Haxorus. Uh, Pikamuku usually does okay against Set of Sweepers, but not Haxorus because it has Mold Breaker. It is very, very problematic. So I need this to revenge kill it. Head Smash can revenge kill it. Because uh, otherwise, like, I actually can set up a dragon dance against a couple of things on my team. Like, Tran, eh, like, can't really. Keldeo, eh, Secret Sword's actually gonna blow it away in one. Zerora, uh, I don't, my moves aren't gonna kill it. So it's like, it, it has an opportunity to do it. And it, it, I think it's the biggest threat against my team. Uh, but, so I, I needed something in the back to potentially revenge kill it. Even though my team naturally outspeeds his team, there's still that possibility. So yeah. Dragon Claw, so in case I, like, you see how serious I, like, I have Head Smash to Revenge Kill, but then I have Dragon Claw because it's 100% accurate. That's literally the only reason it's it. And then you turn, then switch Rue, in case he, like, doesn't bring it, and I can, like, switch Rue my item off. But yeah. That's the team. Let's go play. Uh, did I put my Z move on? Well, I guess I'll find out. I don't know if I did. Okay. Yeah, no Haxers. I last minute switched my Archie offset. Like I had, I got my team made like a couple of days ago, and it was just like a no item Archie ops or something. But I was like, you know what, Haxers just sweeps my team. So let me try and have a way to revenge kill it. Uh, Scarf is. I mean, U-turn is still free on a couple of things here, but. Him bringing Bisharp over Haxorus, I don't know if that's going to be good or bad. Uh, it makes my Archeops not... I mean, Archeops still hits like a truck against this team. And if he's Scarf Inferno, he might get surprised by Scarf Archeops. Almost makes me want to lead it. Because <laughs> I feel like he's going to do nothing. Um, but I can also lead, like, Keldeo. How much does Slurp Buff take? Uh, Archeops, and then... Up. I mean, if he has no bulk, he can die right off the bat. Let's leave with him. Let's leave with Archeops and see uh, what his response is going to be to that. He could leave Bisharp. Um, I, w I wouldn't mind you turning and trading a Sucker Punch and then just saying fuck it, like, that happened. Because it could be Sash Bisharp lead. Ah, oh, dude, dude, my legs. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ah! Ah! I tried to stretch it, dude. It hurts. Yeah, I'm just going to U-turn. Probably into Tran. Against this six. He, I mean, he can knock off. If he sucker punches, Tran is free. But if he, if he, if he goes for knockoff, like, obviously he's not. Like, I can go Keldeo instead, but what I'm worried about is I U-turn and he clicks Stealth Rock. So that means I need self drop. He might he has to be scared of taunt too. So 
So like, he might, he might super, but like, can he knock off against Heracross? Hmm. Does he knock? Does he Iron Head? Does he just rocks? I mean, I think Tran's still fine. Might take a butt ton of damage. My other play is Heracross. <clears throat> eh, Tran taking a butt ton of damage isn't the greatest. A little sketchy, actually. <laughs> Tran or Heracross? Like, if he iron-headed, Heracross takes a butt ton of damage, which isn't the greatest either. Let's do... Well, how much does Tran take from a knockoff? About half. Uh, I lose my leftovers. Let's go Heracross. I feel like Tran's gonna be useful for the Sigilyph. Okay. Now, he has plenty switch ins to this. He has some, he can switch in a whole bunch of stuff to this. Sigilyph, Slurpuff. Does he do it though, or does he just stay in? Uh, I think it's, like I could substitute early actually. Obviously, if he goes for Iron Head, that breaks my sub. But it's fine. He could also be faster than me. I'm not. Uh, if he's if he's Jolly, he outspeeds. But my sub will still go up. Unless he flinches me. Like, if he goes for Iron Head and he flinches me, then definitely not. But yeah. Like, if he wants to go Slurp Up or Sigilyph, this is good. It's Aloe, actually. Aloe Momola. What your scald break myself? He needs liquidation to break this. Liquidation might not even break myself. Actually, no, dude, I'm a gene. No, I did. I ev this for liquidation. If he's well, he has to be no attack investment. There's twenty to twenty four percent. Ev God over here. So we swords dance. Does this thing get like roar? That would actually be really annoying. I, I, I didn't look at that. I mean, as a mouth, does it get roar? I don't see that move. Whatever. Does he have some tech on this? Does this have tech? Why? Why was I thought he'd go slurp up or sick Does this have tech? 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 I'm looking for. Oh, he could have psychic. He could definitely have psychic. That's fine. So I think it makes sense because it hits Keldeo too. No, it's just Wish. Um, I'm just Slurp Push take. Actually, I don't. I don't even need the Swords Dance again. I don't think so. Like, uh, if he's actually if he Mass Defense Slurp Push, it could live. But it's like, who cares? I'm. I don't. I don't even know how much. HP is going to get back from the Alamola. Is it going to be all of it? 189. No, it won't even be all of it. Alright, so we just close combat here.
Yeah, this is definitely gonna... Dude, that did so much. <laughs> The Rock Blast has to kill it if the Close Combat did that much. Okay, he actually healed the full. Okay, and he is faster than me. He's faster than me now. How'd that Close Combat do that much? What? You Rock Blast. So he did heal the full because of the Citrus Berry. I think it's because of the Citrus Berry. Dang, if I swore this again, he would've be faster. I'd, he'd have to sack this. He'd have to sack two Pokemon of this. Uh, well, he would get a Citrus. Uh, I don't know. I don't know the rolls. Well, no, I'd be at plus four. The Citrus Berry definitely wouldn't matter at plus four. Okay, Slurpuff's gone. Uh, this is probably Sigilyph for Infernape. It's Infernape. Um, Keldeo is probably my main response. It's not the greatest one, but like I don't really have anything else to go into necessarily. Where oh, Keldeo? He doesn't. I don't. He doesn't have to click a fire move, which is why going Keldeo isn't like the best response, per se. There he goes for Flare Blitz. One sixty six, one eleven. Uh encoding overloaded. Oh, I wasn't even. Uh oh, was it lagging at all? Fuck. Dude, I'm not trying to like post calm this. Infernape. You have 55 points of damage. Yeah, that's standard for like. He, he's no boosting item. I can see him going Alamomola or Venusaur. I'm gonna try and get some spikes up, or maybe I just go back in a hair across. If he flare blitzes again, that's a good play. I got it. I can't really say much, that's just a good play. He switched out first, which is important because that means he could be Scarf. I mean, I am max speed though, so that might be a speed tie. So I'm on spikes. Burning this is also really, really good actually, especially if he tries to go Bisharp on this. He's not going to go Sigilyph. I don't have an Ice move, but he doesn't know that. <laughs> uh, his attacks will do a lot of damage. I like will Wisp actually. Because if he, if he starts doing a lot of damage to me, I can try and Hex him down. I also punish his, uh, if he goes Bisharp. He could go Infernape again, which is a little annoying. He could actually go Infernape again. Maybe Spikes is safe. Yeah, let's uh let's get layer spikes up. Oh, uh, he could knock off. He he can click a whole bunch of buttons. I don't I don't know if I'm gonna die to any of the buttons. <sighs> okay. Let's, uh, so there's no way Hex is going to break this up in one. Matter of fact, Hex might not break this up in two, depending on how much Bidef he has. 
Okay, where 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 are we going now? Substitute. Oh no, Pokemon. I don't know if Pain Split works on Substitute either. Okay, we gotta hex this. This is a problem. I need to hope that two breaks. But if two doesn't break, then that's very bad, obviously. Sub Swords Dance. Okay, so burning this would have been amazing. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? I just wanted I just wanted some spikes. I have Chris body which okay, so he must have earthquake and then a grass move. Or something like that. Uh two hexes might break. I mean, he can resub, which is whatever. Okay, just one for it again. I need to connect this willow list. <laughs> it looks like he's offensive. He might be max speed actually. That's speed trend. Yeah, I need to I need to connect, I need to connect the willow list. I was thinking maybe I don't. Like, I, I can revenge kill it when it's not behind the sub. But that's the problem. Okay. He is Mega Venusaur at plus four. Power Whip comes out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, would that have killed me if I burned it? I mean, you know, that might. If he's let's 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 check. If he's max attack, let's, let's say he's jolly because he might try to outspeed max speed Tran. I have a feeling that might have killed me, even if he's burned because he's at plus four. That might have still very well killed me. Uh, it's a it's a roll in his favor. The roll is super in his favor. I mean, I can still just spike up again. Like the power whip is coming. It, like it's if it's coming, it's coming. Uh, Cause he probably outspeeds my hair across too. So I don't really have the good a good switch into this necessarily. I can hex this down for damage actually, which also wouldn't be that bad. So it's in range of other moves. And if I actually let's, let's hex, cause if I if I live the Power whip or dodge. But um this probably gets to a KO. Oh, that's close. Okay, he decided to not do that. <laughs> let's go, let's go frost last. Let's go. I'm getting rocks up, baby. I'm getting some rocks up. We gonna save Frostlass as death water. We gonna get some stealth rocks up. That earthquake is, is gone. He can only click power with. <laughs> he could switch. Actually, him going in front of it doesn't make sense here. I feel like 
Frost Last Cursed Body has worked every... It's 30%, but I feel like it's worked every time that I've used it. I think he's going to switch. If he goes Infernape, we sack Frostlass, probably. Because there's a chance that he's Scarf. Well, if he is Scarf and he goes for close combat, obviously Frostlass is, is going to come in. And if he's not Scarf, we got to find out, which will help with Keldeo. That power of dodge. Dude, imagine if he dodged my will o -Wisp and then he smacked me with the power whip. Like, this this is exactly why Pokemon is complete garbage, dude. Like, we're ki you kind of, like, have to... You don't have to use in these inaccurate moves, but a lot of time you do. Is this Jim? Okay. We're just going straight back into the Frostless. Because if I can get a second layer of spikes up, that's good. And if not, then I can just curse body as a as Flare Blitz and go Heracross. <laughs> Just curse body him, dude. I do not. I do not mind sacking Frostlass. I mean, I was playing to sack Frostlass when I saw the Venusaur set at that point. I could have also just stayed in with Keldeo and Skull. If I Skull burned the Venusaur, it would have just been useless as well. But like, how many 30% can I actually get? But like, I still had a way to revenge kill the Venusaur, because it looked like he's offensive, which means my, my Zorora would definitely kill it. I just close combat. Okay. Oh, we get to see if he's Scarf here or not. If he switches, he's probably Scarf. Uh, we're just gonna Spikes. Yeah. I outspeed him naturally. He's, it's probably Scarf. And do I die to knockoff? The only move you saw on this was Wish. Um, knockoff, 94 max. Knockoff's a roll. So I can just pain split first. Or I can just burn him, but I kind of want to toxic this instead of burn. But like, if he is he gonna sack Venusaur now? It'd be kind of random to do it now. Let's tank split. Yum. All right, there's a knockoff. Wish, dude, what is this? Frostlass? Frostlass. It's 30%, right? Cursed Body is only 30. I, in my last game, it, it Cursed Body 100% of the time. In this game, it's Cursed Body 100% of the time. Uh, we're going to get the last layer of spikes up. That's crazy. Yeah, he, he can't knock off. He can't click knock off anymore. Uh, and just, I don't, the, I don't, I didn't, I don't think the Venus was at 25%. I'm pretty sure it's in the orange. So, I'll just attack. I'll just, uh, hex. I don't think he would do, I, I could just burn. I could just woe this, actually. Like, he's a burn Swords Dance Venusaur. I don't think it matters if it gets a, uh, a, a wish boost or whatever. A boost. But he could try and go Infernape and heal that. If he goes Bisharp, I can just burn it. 
So let's just hex. See what he wants to do. Wish, wish, knock off. I kind of like Willow Wisping though, but he could go Infernate. But it's gonna get healed back to like full anyway. I could just switch. What is my switch? Keldeo? Keldeo seems like an important win con, kind of. I don't know what his other moves are on this. Uh, Kel Zerora is actually the win con. Keldeo is not really the win con. This is Zerora. Let's go, let's go Keldeo. I was I, like, I was kind of fine with that happening to my Keldeo. Dude, this game is trash. This game is trash, dude. I don't, I don't even care anymore. This game, this game, this game is dog shit. This is a dog shit game. I'm going to abuse the shit out of that fact that he missed that too. Cause like, Zerora is the super win con here, cause it's bulk up, so it can take an Infernape Scarface after a bulk up. It'll kill Bisharp. It'll kill Sigilith. Venusaur is already basically dead and I had a I had the Z move for it anyway. But that that's just, that's just like icing on the cake, dude. Like that's so shitty. Like you actually like that is actually super shitty. Okay, his knockoff isn't disabled anymore. Um I'm pretty sure I'm still calm minding, like I don't think that's gonna change. Uh, plus one does a lot to this. And I, I like, I always, like, I always have Zorora to revenge kill these things, which is very crucial here, because he's, he, unless, well, besides an Infernape, like, it just outspeeds and, like, destroys everything. But other things are just dodging moves. I, I haven't had to use that. Dude, that's so stupid. Frostlash should be gone. Not only did Frostlash dodge the power wit, it disabled his earthquake and then disabled his knockoff and then dodge like like And then Kelio dodge toxic is like come on dude. Yeah, you see that does a butt ton. These leftovers. Why well, it's lagging? It's lagging. Please don't. Don't do this. Don't do this. Please, 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 please. It's not me. It's never. I've never disconnected from a Wi-Fi battle. It still says I'm connected to the internet. Like, I've literally never disconnected from a Wi Fi battle. Ever. Like, if you see my. How do I show this? Like, my thing, it still says connected to the internet. I. I. I it's literally never me when a DC happens. Ugh. I, I don't. It, like, I'm not trying. I'm not. It's. Lucky we got this part. Who is this? Who who is Spoopy Ghost? Dude, whatever dude.
People join in the game. What is it? Mod join. He's already in here. But why? Why am I on the game? Okay. Whatever. Okay. We we we. Uh. Yeah. We're playing now. We're we're going now. Those things are whittled and stuff. I have my plus one Keldeo. It. Where? Should I start a timer? Like, does timer even matter? Okay. Let's just scald again. Like I, I don't see why I wouldn't just scald again. It's just clicking scald. It's a pretty good move. This album will only take three layers. Of it doesn't have. <laughs> well, I don't. I mean, I, I would. I would taunt it every time. Yeah. Okay. All uh, right. Okay. 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 It took a while. I'm. My my legs are hurting. My legs looking like Keldio's legs right now. Wobbly as shit. It's gonna go out of Mola. Uh, that did a lot. <laughs> uh, let's 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 uh. I I I am hacking him still. I am still hacking him. Post post the uh, disconnect. I don't know how that skull did so much though. He is definitely wait, what? How does that skull do? 37.5% No spadef investment? No spadef investment, which means it's gonna kill him. It does more than the secret sword at least. So let's uh let's call it again. It didn't kill him. <laughs> That's okay though. Uh because we basically get to kill whatever we want. I hope he didn't wasn't gonna try and click toxic there. Like I hope I hope Toxic wasn't his play there. Um, it says the Scald has a higher chance. Of, it said Scald did minimum thirty seven point nine if he had no Spadef investment, where a Secret Sword does minimum thirty six point seven. So I just clicked the one that looked like it did more damage. Uh, we are going to click Scald again. Just Scalding away. Uh, I'm try I, don't, I I hope he wasn't gonna click Toxic there. Dude, this game is a mess. I'm hacking it every single turn. It disconnects, and then, yeah, this is this is a mess of a game. Like I, I don't I don't know how else it like this is just a mess. This is a huge mess. Oh, if he's not max for death, he's probably max HP. Uh, which means no. Okay, skull was like a mid roll. That skull to kill was, it had to, it had to be like a mid to high roll. So I could have taunted him, but I don't think it. I don't think he can pass this wish into anything, so I don't see a reason to really actually taunt him. Because if he protects, like it's just I can just taunt him after. Like his aloe gets out a little bit healthier. It's not that big of a deal. Inferno comes in. It's close combat kill. Should we scarf? Close combat. 114 max. Yeah, it has a chance. Um do I care if this dies? Not too. I definitely don't care. If, the thing is, I don't need frost last like at all. Um. Ah, eh, I might as well just sculpt. I might like let's let's just let's just like go. Let's just go. Okay, he could he quit U turn anyway. Yeah, so we're we're just going. We're going places. Okay, I'm definitely in range of close combat now though. Definitely in range. So probably have to get out, but like I don't really have to go anywhere. Like I can just stay. Like his Inferno can't switch in that much. <clears throat> uh, I don't want his Bisharp to win though. But I don't know if his Bisharp, his Bisharp maybe can win somehow. Can it win? Can he win with Bisharp somehow? So I sack this. He's locked in close combat. I go what? Heracross. Or, I mean, at this point, it's like, can I suck up some differential here and there? 101 on the close combat. It's still a roll, actually. Like, it's still a roll at this point. Even at this point, it's still a roll. I mean, I can just take the roll, I guess, if I want. Uh, let's just take the roll. Okay, he flare blitzed. So, yep. He definitely wanted to hit my frost last. And I don't think Bisharp can even kill me with sucker punch. So, I 
I think that's just it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's just it. Bisharp it has no chance. It's not even close. Yeah, that's that's yeah. Sorry for all the trouble though, and I don't know, like, I, I don't want to say, like, I, I usually am not the type of person to say sorry for, like, hacks, because, like, we both, like, it's like, you sign the contract when you play Pokemon, it's like, okay, we're, we're gonna, you know, so, it's, I mean, like, sorry for the, like, the whole Wi-Fi recreation stuff, this, this is so messy, like, it's all just so messy. And the game definitely would have played out differently if any of the things like if he didn't miss toxic or power whip or like any anything like it definitely would have played out differently like i don't know I and mean, whoever's poopy go 69 is congratulations you just got spoiled on the wb battle congratulations good job all right yep well uh let's uh make sure we download the replay or yeah upload share replay all right Like I'm actually, I, I might, if Jodor is watching this, I, I do like this sucks. And it's like, like I feel, I think he's on his lunch break or something, which is like doubly sucks. I, I don't, I just, I feel like shit, cause like I don't even think I don't, I don't know, I, I, don't, I wouldn't have enjoyed the game if I was him, you know. Whatever, uh, like or comment, greatly appreciate it. And it's guaranteed to see you guys next time.